morning guys, it is day four uh, in the lovely village here. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking last night, I must have been absolutely delirious because I do know what we're doing today, we've got a mad day planned. Um, so we are heading through Bellagio now, uh, we're going to have a walk up strip, oh, I'm going to have to get cameras on. So we're going to have a walk up strip and then we are going to Premium North Outlets. After Premium North Outlets we have got uh, two four on the Bellagio buffet booked. Um, so that should be good. So normally forty four dollars plus tax each, I think, and we're going to get that for obviously forty four dollars plus tax for two of us. And then we're going to have a mooch around in the afternoon. May go to pool. May do something different. Not entirely sure yet. And then this is why I can't believe I forgot it. Tonight we're going on a Las Vegas strip helicopter night flight, which I really can't wait for. Another uh, present from the wife from my thirtieth. So yeah, looking forward to that. And then we haven't decided where we're eating tonight, have we? Not quite sure. Um, we've got like a dot. We've got um, what do you call it? Like a ten dollars off uh, posh burger. We've got the tap sports bar, but we can't use that today because they're not open. So I'll probably end up using that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, but tomorrow night we have got because it's the last night. We've got uh, like a nicer meal booked, and we're going to Bebets. So, really, really looking forward to that. Um, if I look knackered, again, it's because I am, again. But yeah, so got a wicked day in store. Gonna have a walk further upstream now, guys. So I need a coffee. I will, yeah, we're probably gonna get a coffee and a tea to be fair, because I need working out. So, uh, yes, guys, I will catch you in a bit. Refreshing uh, mango and pineapple sounded really fresh. And she says, Do you want green tea or something else? Coconut milk. Right. <laughs> but let's try it. Mango and pineapple. Yeah, yeah. I did, disclaimer, I did have a little sip right on my own beer, but I didn't try it properly. And now I've had a proper taste. I can taste the green tea, but it's drinkable. Um, that were about $6, I think. And then we've got a. This is yours. I clearly didn't read the menu because everything I bought I'm not going to like it. So I went for a wrap and it should have been a wrap. It's on, it, on, it says sausage, egg, cheese, wrap with no cheese. Now people, you tell me if you think that in the wrap or a croissant, because I'm telling you that's a croissant, or whatever it is. Croissant. Croissant. Um, and then Aaliyah's got a... What's that? Little bagels with cream cheese. A little bagels with cream, cream cheese and a vanilla iced latte. Mine's lovely. <laughs> so I'll tuck into this, I'll let you know if I've it after it's probably gone in bin. So, Dunkin' Donuts, all in all, like I say, I let that receive and that was best part of $30, okay. 28 somewhere. So uh, it's still not cheap, but yeah, we'll see uh, See what this is like. Good day for you guys. I took top of crass off and it's not actually that bad. I don't really let them go on I don't really do French food, so, but the egg and the sausage patty is really, really nice. So, I'm going to eat this, head over to Mirage and then get an Uber up to premium outlet, so we'll catch you up there. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first date You're so fine, I'm so late You say
sip wine I drink straight Don't waste time To my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Obviously, putting two and two together when we went to the Allegiant Stadium tour yesterday, they've got absolutely tons of like wind suites, or they've even got a win um, nightclub as well. So, I think wind's put a lot of money into this F1, um, and obviously, <laughs> there is going to be nobody that watches this. But if anybody that knows someone that's quite high up at wind, uh, I'm guessing, and quite like an important VIP, I'm guessing you'll get some really good uh, comps and um, like decent discounts for F1 because by all accounts we spoke to a lot of people and they're really, really struggling to sell tickets to the point where we're actually going to shut the restaurants. And it's all because the F1 are charging the restaurants on the strip an absolute fortune to open on, uh, on race day. So obviously, the restaurants are having to pass on that cost and no one can afford it so it's actually cheaper for the because the, the f1 have said you will you will not be able to be open basically and have a view of this so it's actually cheaper for the hotels and restaurants to either a shut or b have massive barriers up so you've got no view of the strip whatsoever than it is to take on the payment from the f1 and then charge it onto the customers because no one can afford them. But me and Ilya have just said, we were given choice. This is our hotel at choice. If, sorry, if money were no object. Uh, I mean, we could afford to come here, but we couldn't afford to do anything else. We couldn't afford to go to Florida for two weeks, and Iceland and New York, etc., etc. So, uh, but it is really, really nice in here. It? It's, it's just oozes class and a bit of golf course. So if anybody that knows me, I love my golf then. So, yeah, just having a nosy route wing guys. Probably not going to stop in here to eat or anything, but we're just having a little ramble. We're up here uh, and we're slowly making his way up to the premium north outlets. So, catch you again. <laughs> So guys, just walking through Encore now. Um, again, they've got loads of new Lightning Link machines, a lot of racing ones. Um, but I've just uh, earlier spotted they've got a uh, like a calendar for F1 race weekend. So if you are um, if you are coming to race weekend in Vegas, and if you are coming to win an Encore, you'll have just seen that I've put all details of who's playing. So I hope that's some info for you guys. And I've literally just turned left down here because I just want to show you. These are the first ones at trip that I've seen. 
new NFL machines. These look pretty wicked. So let's have a look what we've got. Oh, so they've got a Patriot. So I think you pick your own team anyway, but yeah. That's the new NFL machine, guys. Pretty wicked, right? Might have to go and have a go on one of their by end of the week, so. Right, on the way, we carry on to the outlets. Catch you in a bit. So guys, we made it to outlets. We paid $10.92 and then give him a dollar tip, even though we shouldn't give him a dollar tip because all they did was, what did he do earlier every time he got to traffic lights? <sighs> Literally, <laughs> side light fuck. Mate, so, you just got $10. You just got 10, yeah, literally, mate, just chill out, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, happy days, we're at Premium Outlet now, so we will let you know uh, what purchases we get. See you later. Two and a half hour. Two fucking long in the words of the wife. Um, we have uh, bought ourselves some nice purchases. I'll show you the bag briefly. But we will do a video on what we got just in case anyone's interested. If not, you can skip it. Um, paid $13 to get back, which was so much cheaper than what we paid last time. I mean, we, we got out at 5 o'clock, I think, or 4 o'clock last time we went. And because it was kicking out time, yeah. They were charging $30 and Uber's, like she said, so we got a taxi. Well, that, that taxi stunk smell. Yeah, it did. And you tried to speak to him and he just went, Ugh. Yeah, he just went, Ugh. But I think you've got the, the beauty of the Ubers is you've got the flexibility. Um, you know, he's a trusted driver. You know where he's going to be. He's got your location. You've got his name and everything like that. You've got his reg plate. And for $13, it would have cost more than that for a taxi, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, she's buzzed about that one. So, right, we, um, we're we gonna drop bags off, literally chuck bags in room, because um, we've got Bellagio buffet to go to, and it's only up until three, and it's now about, what, 10 to, 10 to two, something like that. So, literally drop these off, come back down, get ourselves in buffet, and then come out there, and we'll have a couple of rounds our pool before the helicopter rides. Can't wait. So, yes, guys, catch you in a bit. So, on to this episode of Bellagio Buffet on Brammer's Base Bites, we've got plain chicken, fried rice, and ribs. And Aaliyah's gone for a slice of pizza, a bit of fish, some rice, some mussels. Is that a crab claw? What? Crab claw? I think so. Yeah, and some cauliflower cheese. So, forward to this so let's get up to it. So for round two of Brahman's Beige Bites we've got some plain rice this time, a couple of sausages and then quite a fatty prime rib but we'll see if we can tackle that and take fat off that because I have a lot of fat. Um, and then I'll video what um, Alia gets when she comes here. So she's gone for some shrimps. Prawns. Prawns even. Some oyster things, but oyster really things. like baked oyster. Prime rib. Mashed potato. Mashed potato. So that's what we've got for seconds. So for dessert, I went for some cookies and cream ice cream. We a chocolate, well I'm guessing it's a triple chocolate muffin slash bun. And then what have you got there? Try gas. Name everything. Chocolate cake. Like a chocolate, yeah. Rice pudding. Um, creme brulee. Creme brulee. Rice crispy. Rice crispy cake and then some cheesecake. Uh, look how impressed she is when we're getting cheesecake. So that's what's for dessert, guys. So guys, we've just come out of, as you can see, buffet at, at uh, Bellagio. 
was a, for me, it was a really, really picky. Uh, it were, I, mean, I wouldn't say it were no good, but there were a great deal of choice. They didn't have any chicken nuggets. They have no chicken nuggets, they, they have, have no chips, human. Um, I but, thought they were fine though. But what I, I will it. say is the prime rib that did have it were really fatty. Um, I think it was just the cut that you got, because the one that the that I got were absolutely fine. Yeah. The mashed potato were really nice. And you had, you had prawns. They had seafood. Pizza and all. I mean, I don't even eat pizza because pizza would have been sufficient. But yeah. desserts were nice, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, everything that I had was nice. Yeah, so it's a recommend, but just not if you're super picky because it's not a um, massive deal. So we've just come out, as you can probably see, we're sat on a machine. We're going to have a bash on here. We've got $41 in. Um, we're going to have a quick play before we head up back up to the room to get changed to go to the pool. Uh, so if you get any bonus, I'll let you know, guys. Right guys, as you can see, you're on the low rolling and we've had a hell of a lot of spins. We have got the uh, camel feature, uh, that means no because it's a feature as we know, but let's see what we can get. Come on. This woman behind us put $100 in. She just won 626 words. Four of that. Come on baby, here's some of good on this. Nine dollars, that uh, unbelievable things. Walking out. Walking out. <laughs> oh, that is so fucking annoying. So we've got a whole two dollars on that. Two dollars. What a mag magic bonus. We'll keep going. Catch up if we get a So, guys, just heading back to room now to get changed. We're going to go down to the pool for a bit, so. We'll catch up with you later. Um, obviously, we've got the uh, helicopter ride to look forward to. Uh, just to let you know how we got on then. So, we played, um, got that bonus as you saw, which weren't up to much. Played it down to about 20. Went on a Buffalo link and literally got nothing, didn't we? So, we're going to chill out for a bit now before uh, helicopter ride tonight. Looking forward to it. Catch you in a bit, guys. So what's up guys, um, we're just about to head out for dinner but I thought I'd, uh, well I promised I'd do a little show you of what we got from um, the outlets today. So first things first, I've um, trekked myself to some Calvin Klein boxes as you can see. Oh they've got a picture of me on front of it, I told them that, copyright, I'm not having it. Um, so this was a total of, let's have a look. Focus in. Thirty nine eighty nine. Uh, as you can see, we've got some discount here, so well worth it. So there's three pairs in there, so a ten or a pair, which is an absolute bargain. Uh, second thing we got, if you can tell by the bag, Lee got some Crocs. A pair of these, oh, a pair of these grey ones, and if I find the receipt, these were. Let's have a look. There was £50.98, well, $50.98, which I think after we looked online, it's about the going rate. Um, in here, Converse bag, we got um, my sister's little kid. Some little Converse, they're cool. They worked out about 25 quid on exchange. Um... We went to Starbucks and we've been eyeing these cups up all week. So, Aaliyah, I think this one's Aaliyah's. Let's have a look. Yeah, so this one's Aaliyah's. Pretty wicked. Let's see if I can get it in light. It's like a greeny, blacky So, it's a greeny, blacky colour uh, Starbucks cup. That was... $15, Yeah, my camera's not focusing because I can't click on it. But, long story short, that one was nineteen ninety-five. And then the other one, which is what I got, very similar, but it's from Disney Store, and as you can see, 1998. So, but this one actually worked out, as much as it says 1995 on it, it were actually about $15, so it were a bargain. And then last things last, uh, we went to a shop called Box Lunch, uh, which is next to New Balance, and... Aaliyah treads herself to a Disney lounge fly. Pretty cool. 
that were it worked out about 36 quid which is a bargain because normally they're about 80 quid uh, and i do tell a lie there were one more thing um a pair of joggers from nike and i'll pop receipt on bed and now that was 48 dollars so about same price as england so a couple of i mean i needed some joggers anyway so um i'm glad we got them because i needed them anyway and then a couple of other things, bits and bobs that we um, picked up that were bargains. So the Crocs were about, I want to just focus in. So the Crocs, they were about similar price. The Calvin Klein's were a bargain. The Converse were a bargain. These two cups. So we watched a Disney vlogger um, and they got this cup from... Um, this one, so it was the Disney yeah, Star got the Disney one. one from Disney World and it was $50. And I only paid $23, I think it were. Um, the joggers are the same price and the lounge flight is massively, massively discounted. So, uh, ignore the mucky window. We're just about to head out now um, to his helicopter ride. So, I'll have another chat as we're walking through the lobby and tell you what plan is for tonight. So, catch you soon, guys. So, guys, um, I've just, we've just obviously come out of room now. We're on his way to get to the helicopter tour. We're off down to Mavericks, which is down south of Strip past Mandalay. Um, I have just done a little um, video on the haul from today from Outlet, but I'm not sure if I'm going to post it or not because I'll be honest with you, trying to get my old bags and old receipts out and everything, we're a bit all over the shop, so I'm not sure if we're going to do it or not. But just about to uh, head downstairs now, get an Uber up to Mavericks, so I'll get some more footage when we get up there. So guys, we've uh, just come down to Maverick, we've got an Uber, a lovely guy, um, I think it was about $14 including tip, so not too bad at all. Uh, we've just got here, we're a bit early, um, so literally straight in, uh, just need to bring your ID with you, um, so obviously we've got passports because we carry them everywhere in Vegas because you never know if we might hit a grand, never know. Um, so yeah, we've uh, just checked in, they'll take your weight, I think you have to have it pre-booked. Don't yeah. quote me on that, but I think you do. Um, you and put your when you book it as well. You have to put your weight in when you book it, and then the triple check it when you get here. Um, we paid, what do we pay for this? We paid about £220. About £220 for both of us. Um, and it's literally, I think it's like a 15, 20 minute, but it's a night flight across the strip. Uh, and obviously we've done this time, because you can see in background, um, some setting. So this is why we booked it, well, I lay booked it for this time. So it should be wicked. Now we've got a bit of time to kill, so we're just going to stand around and just check all the views as all planes are coming in. Um, helicopters even. So yeah, uh, I'm hoping to get some absolutely mega footage. Um, and if it's good enough, it might even be included in the intros going forward. So I'll um, I'll talk you through the process. They give you a boarding card and everything like that. Oh, we want to go past here. Here it is. Here is it. Oh, is it hello? I don't know if you can hear me, but it's just wandered or taken off. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. guys we have just done the uh, night flight across vegas and one word wow it were amazing it? Was so good. I, I think it were even better because we have got obviously they've got sphere now as well and that we're on it we're just wicked it looks so so good we have a bunch of pistols yeah so. two californians a lad from york and a lad from cornwall um Big shout out, you'll probably never see this, but big shout out to Clint, who were our um, pilot. He was so funny, um, very knowledgeable as well. He made it yeah. made it really well worthwhile. <laughs> um, and he was telling us about info. Uh, that he was we were, saying that when Mirage was built, it was, it was the, the biggest, biggest hotel. hotel and, on the and obviously now it's dwarfed, but it's getting knocked down for guitar. So when that goes up, it could even be tempting to do another night flight because that's going to be a fair few years away now. Um, but 100 done. 
150 million percent, definitely recommend. Uh, it's worth doing. Uh, I'm not sure what footage is like, because obviously we're from an helicopter about six, <laughs> well, 60 mile up in air or whatever it is. But um, yeah, it was so, so good. So I'll, um, I'll pop some footage in now after I've said this so you can see what footage we got. Um, and yeah. There's no else to say, is there? We're just so good, honestly. I can't take a smile off the face. So, uh, thank you to this little one from the 30th. Wait, just me. Well, thank you to uh, everyone that chipped in for the 30th. It was one of the best presents I could have asked for. So, yeah. I'm going to get um, an Uber back up to New York, New York now. I'm going to get something to eat. Uh, and then we are across at Brew Dog for a couple of drinks or so. So, catch you in a bit, guys. So guys, uh, this is our Shake Shack. So as you've seen by receipt, Brahma's Bay's Bites tonight is a chicken shack with plain chicken. Um, Aliyah's gone for a shack burger. She's got the bacon cheese fries. I've got normal fries, then we've got some chicken bites. So we'll let you know how this is, guys. So guys, we've just had a Shake Shack, as you've seen, and we've made it to Brew Dog. Uh, it's really, really busy tonight. We did have a table book around the edge, but I think they've given it away to someone else. So, it's a bit of shit, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have a drink in here, um, see what it's like, get a few pictures while we're up here, and uh, then go and have a gamble in a bit. So, catch you in a bit, guys. So, I am, people that know me will know that I'm not one to moan, I'm just a very honest person and I say what I think and it's an unbelievable view, I mean granted, this is this is view that we got when I booked a seat around Edge, um, we have been sat here 25 minutes um, no service come over so we grabbed a woman and basically said to her look can we order a drink and she went, eh. So Aaliyah asked her, can she have this? Can she? And it comes it comes in a few different flavours. She goes, no. Didn't offer no alternative or like that, just said no. So she asked, can she have this other drink? What she's ended up with, which is a what? Strawberry gin. Strawberry gin and lemonade, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, and then she just went, yeah, a new. And I just said a lager. She didn't ask me which lager. She just ripped lager down and fucked off. Didn't say no else. So, and, then and then someone came over with water at about, about 10 minutes later. So at this point, we've been sat here for, what, 20 minutes? Come over, literally, this great big water just went donk on the table. Didn't even say a word. So, I mean, we're in America, and I get that we're going to have to pay a little bit of uh, gratuity, which I'm very, very, I'm fucking swallowing my tongue with this because I just want to tell them where to shove it. But, I mean, loads of people have been here, loads of people say it's brilliant and it's fantastic and all this, but obviously we've picked a couple of people that are Love having a bad night, so yeah, and they're taking it out on us, but the service has been absolutely fucking appalling, and pardon my French, and I don't want to sound negative, I'm just a realist. It's not as if we sat out at Wayne a little corner. No, like exactly. Yeah, if you look where we sat, um, so we're literally middle of the court out, food comes out of there, bars there, I mean if you pan round here, their little station where they all work is there, so we're literally banging middle of it all, it's not like we're on edge, so, bitter, yeah like we should have been, so a bit of a moan, so I do apologise for moaning, but I'm never going to change when it comes to an honest opinion, because this is, it's just who I am and it's part of why we do what we do, because um, there's no point in buttering it up, so... Um, I mean, I've got a lager. I don't know which lager it is. She's just given me a lager, but it's nice. So, and she's going to be even more fuming when you give me three dollars off my first pint. Um, but yeah, apart from that, view is phenomenal. I mean, from from what we can see where we are, that's the view we've got. So, sorry about little moan, guys, but I'm just being honest. Um, service has been shit. So, um, gonna drink these and then drink these, get me three dollars off. Um, she can have me three dollars as a fucking tip. And I'll give her another tip. I'll write it down. Say fucking smile. 
Um, and then we're gonna head over to New York, New York in distance. Um, I've got my shake, shark, receipt to cash in for the MGM rewards, and then we'll have a bit of a gamble. And that will be the next instalment of Shot, Flot and Ramble. So, catch you in a bit, guys. final shot slot and rambo and as you can see it's moolah time so thank you very much kev for the three nominations so uh, off the top of my head i'm 53 dollars 26 ish and let's see what we get from this one so minimum of 10 spins as soon as you get a bonus that's it we'll see what we finish with so i will come back to you probably in about 10 spins and then we'll do a bit of live play so obviously that's the short slot and ramble feature so i'll uh, i'll come back to you with my 10 spins so in. as you can see we're about ten dollars in so we've had a fair few spins now um so yeah this is uh, this is first time we've ever played moolah because moolah is not really our cup of tea is it um so just to reiterate, obviously I am going to part of rambling is it going to be about anything. So I am going to have a ramble here and it's obviously like we were on about before, we were about Brewdog. So, um, anyone that's been to Brewdog before will know that you have to, there's a QR code that you scan and you get your bill. So obviously, you heard me rant about it before. So we got served and we were like, right, can we, um, best we want to go. So we scanned his QR code and because they split our table in half, we had someone else's bill on it, so we were like $140 for two beers. Or like, yeah, that's really bad. $140 for like a beer and then whatever you want. Really. Mm -hmm. One minute, it's all happening. I'll carry on my ramble in a minute. I've got some catching up to do, honey. Giant symbols, probably one of the worst ones, I think. Let's have a blast. Ah, oh, never mind. Oh well, still. Attack from the giant symbol! Let's see, there you go. challenge for your week in Vegas is, I mean I'll recap it all but I think it's 53, 26 and 
55. See if he can be that one, buddy. Where's your shot? The shot is on its way. So I'll uh, take a picture of that when I get in. So thanks for watching this series of shot gamble and ramble or whatever it is no shot slot and ramble and um, yeah head over to matrix as a youtube channel to check out his shot slot and ramble and see how he gets on and then we'll decide the winner we we'll, might get a little trophy sorted and then obviously next time i'm away next time he's away we can uh, keep doing this little challenge we've got going so right guys we'll cash this out as this is this ticket's money and uh, we'll crack on to another machine Catch on guys, as two six sevens in, I will let you know how we get on. After consulting myself and Kev, we're going for this happy and prosperous. Look at that major Kev. Fingers crossed, buddy. I'll let you know then. Eight spins in, we've got ourselves a bonus. Let's see how we get on. As Kev does, all we wins, and we're laughing right now. Let's have a major. <laughs> Come on, don't kill us now. Yeah, nice. Come on, baby, let's have a minor. Minor at 500 would be pulsing. Come on, baby. Come on. Last spin.
Robin. There you go, another ninety-one dollar eight. Right, then, so we've got twenty spins left for hundred dollars, and um, we're literally at three six seven. So, so oh, one minute, lads. I'm just getting a drink. Right, so three six seven. So we can't lose money because we put two six seven in. So anything from now is just pure profit, guys. So it's been a good shout tonight. Two fifty. Happy and prosperous. Come on, baby, let's hit that fucking major. Right, then, so that's what we finished on. 393. So we've turned 267 into 393. So not too shabby at all. Happy days. Cheers. Hey right, guys, start. after doing a little group pull, uh, we did alright, as you can see. So we've got a little bit of bonus on our. Come on, open for a big number here to add to this. Come on, baby. Then it's nice. Come on. Absolutely worth it. We had to know we were in it all over there. Come on, baby. Come on. Ooh, there's a minor flash by there. I mean, I'll take a grand in third line. Come on. Come on. Never mind. Not too bad there. Oh, my God. No.
um, tucked away, back in back home with us. So, I mean, it, listen, anything to take back home is a win in my book. It's just we've been so, so close this week. I think that's what's the most frustrating part is like, if we were miles off and not eating anything and it were just constant like dead spins on losses, I could be away and just think, look, it's not been our week. That is a big chocolate, so. Uh... But it's been a case of where we've had the bonuses or we've been so, so close, but we've just not hit a good bonus. Um, and I mean, generally speaking, like on. I don't know, 250 10 cents, you'd expect to get more than $20, but it just is what it is. We've had a great night, haven't we? Um, I really enjoyed my first ever shake track. Obviously, highlight at night we're doing helicopter tour, and I can't stress to you enough, honestly, it's making me having a smile on the face now. Uh, I can't stress to you enough, um, if you've got the money to do it, make sure you do it because it was so worth it. What an amazing footage. Uh, obviously, you'll see it in vlog, you might even see it in an intro. Um, and then we went to Brewdog, got messed about at Brewdog, but um, had a good night in um, New York, New York. We spent a lot of time in there this time, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, I really like. We spent no time in Lager, it's just, I really like the rooms and the pool. Yeah, that's it, that, I completely agree. Lager's got no cheap eats really, has it? Like, no. Right grab something quick in Lager, you can't. Yeah. Apart from like. Cafe, yeah, you can get, I get but it's still not here. quick and cheap, is it? Uh, like, you go to Bellagio and it's absolutely stunning. Rooms are beautiful, <coughs> pools are amazing, it's classy. But, like Leah said, there's nothing cheap and there's nothing quick. Like, you'll go to Patisserie and there's a queue out the door. So, we found that although we've been around Pool of Bellagio and obviously we're stepping at Bellagio, we spent more time down the strip this time, haven't we? Um, and we really, really, um, we really, really like the um, the vibe in um, New York, you know, don't we? Yeah. The, you know, it's got a nice. I need to research the pool properly. I think. Yeah, because we're. And the rooms, like I feel like some of the rooms are a bit older and dated, but some of them have been done, so you have to just make sure they pay that bit more. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I like Aria, to be fair. Yeah, we like Aria. We, we spent a bit more time in Aria this year. Um, we've spent, like I said, we've um, we've spent more time in. Um, New York, New York. We've, that's pretty much where bulk of our gambling's done. Um, if I had a look at my win loss, I think, God, 80% of what we've gambled this holiday has been in there. Um, if you could afford it, I'd love to say Cosmo, because Cosmo Yeah, is Cosmo is our favourite hotel by a long stretch. Apart from Wynn, but who wins? Yeah, Wynn's just different gravy. Um, the Cosmo's wicked, it's our favourite. There's loads and loads of restaurants from top tier to cheap eats and it's all accessible and it is cheap eats as well and it's good food. Casino is probably the best layout on the strip, it's got a good vibe, <coughs> drink service is absolutely amazing. Um, I, I do like Paris as well. Yeah, I'm not keen on Paris. Um, Planet Holland were alright last night to be I fair with drink service. Yeah, but I just think Casino has got more flow. No, like, it, it does. It just feels like it's here and there. It's a bit all over shop, isn't yeah. it? But you know, we've done a couple of things that we, um, obviously second time to Vegas, we've done a couple of things we wouldn't, wouldn't normally do in terms of gambling. We've um, had some in Mandalay, had some in Luxor, had some in um, a couple of season properties, which is just not what we normally, well, no, I wouldn't, we didn't plan to do, did we? Um, so yeah, it's been wicked. So shame on gambling front, but it's been a mega trip so far. We've got a full day tomorrow at it. Um, We'll be using a voucher at TAP tomorrow and we've got a meal at the Vets tomorrow night which I'm really looking forward to <laughs> finish off holiday with a nice steak so I'll um, forget any more footage jump way up guys that I need to see or want to show you I will let you know but if not I'll be signing off for tonight so if it is a goodbye from day four thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have because Although I've had a moan about Rudog and that, it's been an absolute blast. And listen, every day in Vegas is a good day. I mean, look at this. Unbelievable. So thanks for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you in a bit. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up until...